In this video, let's talk about another category of always continuous functions under the subheading of trigonometric functions which is called as tangent function. Before moving into detail about tangent function, I want you people to see this tabular form that I have enlisted. The data that has been enlisted in one side is sin cosine and in the other side we have the other four trigonometric functions which are tan cot sec cosec. Now what do I need to tell you? I need to tell you that sin and cosine are the functions which are never not defined. You talk about sin 0, that's 0. You talk about cos 0, that's 1. You talk about sin pi by 2, it's 1. You talk about cos pi by 2, it's 0. But these functions like tan, like cot, like secant, like cosecant, these all four functions are somewhere or the other not defined or somewhere or the other not defined in their domain, I must say. That means like tan. What is the value of tan 90? It is 1 by 0, not defined. What is the value of cot 0? It is again not defined. Similarly, what is the value of sec in respect to cos? Sec is 1 upon cos. Secant is 1 upon cos. Now, what is the value of secant 90? It is 1 upon cos 90, which is 0. 1 upon 0. Again, not defined. Similarly, you can say about cosecant. So, these four are the functions which will be continuous, I write here, continuous only, where? Only in their domains. If you remember, if you watched the previous video on sine, when I proved that sine x is continuous, I said sine x is continuous in its domain. But actually, being continuous in its domain does not always mean always continuous. Yes, sine and cosine are the functions which are what? Which are always continuous, everywhere continuous, even if in domain, even if in not domain, they are always continuous. But these four, tan, cot, sec, cosec are the functions which are continuous only in their domains because somewhere or the other time they become not defined. Now, now when we know everything about tan and all, let's see the tangent functions proof of continuity. Rest all you can always memorize and do the proof if you need yourself. There is no need actually to memorize from CBSE point of view. You only need to just memorize, no need of proof I mean. Not no need of memorize but no need of proof. Now, tan function. Tan function if I say I can write y is equal to tan x is my function. And y is equal to tan x. Tan x is what? Sin x upon cos x. Now that means for proving tan x continuous, I must do something about sin and cos. Now sin x I know is continuous everywhere. Cos x I know is continuous everywhere. Always continuous, continuous everywhere. But when cos is in denominator, things change. Because we do not want the denominator to be 0. If I have something like this is the function and anything is there, denominator is 0, it is not defined. So what I need to do is, I need to check when is cos 0. When is cos 0? Cos x is 0 for pi by 2. And cos x is 0 for 3 pi by 2 and so on. That means whenever x is 2n plus 1, into pi by 2, n belonging to integers, my cos is 0. And if cos is 0, the denominator here is 0, my tan is not defined. So how will it be continuous? So that means tan is continuous always, except the cases when the denominator is 0 or the cases where this condition of x is there. So I wrote here that the domain of the function is real or real, but it is not is included that 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 because here my cos becomes 0, denominator becomes 0, tan is not defined. So I say that yes, the domain of the function is this and my tan function like cot sec cosec is always continuous but only in its respective domain.